ya musi oba okutone nsenu buli 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 kwanga yali wo kumi era na ali wa mai na magezi e kwanga lyona mu mura bali no jimiride kubuwangwa era ne dini che chimu ku kirungo che byo kuwangwa ne nono kati omwango obwaffe tubushude ema bagi tekawo AFP ne bagi tekawo e kume ebibira ebibira ette misamba je ya bikuma nga bagama nga mu kibiro ekyo tokena kutema mu muti neri ndo olukuru gwe ogenda olukwaje omusamba kujja kuba kukiriza kubanga tuli mucha nnamu gaso ogenda olufumbise ne kati kusawe no bachama miti kujisanyawo Insozi za fe bazi zimba kuko waye birungo bye byo mwangwa bachi abana bafite bagende emisambo ebi katonda bwe yakitonda atonda emirungi ne emibi ekikole ebirungi ne ebibi kakati ekikole ebibi kivayo kuingira mbana ba mwako atambuzi kubiri njaga kunyonye bwe baba bajja mu kanisa oba mu chacho oba mu mizikiti bateka ye biga bateka ya makula ne amakula ge bateka mu mu bibbo Wachi kwa bicheka mubafu, mubafu, ebi bwe 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 we got to saw when on foot stand on one of the other foot stand mhm o o e din atenjerize bwenga agurumizi bwenga era awebwe kitibwa amawanga gonna ga musinze muwangiro bwago nga namugereka kuyagereka kibenga we wawo weza kwa mukasa Again, the traditional religion. The Ugandan traditional religion is the religion system of Ugandans before they became exposed or mixed up with other religions, notably Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Ugandans are notoriously religious and they actually knew and see God long before the arrival of the white men. According to Baganda oral traditions, the Baganda who are the majority tribe in Uganda believed in an almighty God whom they called Dunda, meaning creator and he had his shrines in Kiaga County, now Mukono District. They addressed him with a number of names Dunda, to mean shepherd, Namugereka, to mean planner of the universe. Liso dene to mean the all seer the one naku to mean the omnipresent among other names the baganda have always worshiped one supreme god tanda they however turn to lubal to help them intercede on their behalf as well as deliver their prayers to tanda lubal is simply a collection of the different spirits that the baganda believe rule and operate from the universe among these spirits are msmwa or msangwa imizimu abalongo Baganda believe and many have witnessed that Emesamba and Abalongo exhibit physical emancipation through any animal, rock or plant of their choice. The Baganda derive the noun Emesangwa which they later also refer to as Emesamba from the fact that they are the spirits which they found existent. The Emesamba are the spirits of the deceased but actually come back to help people that belong to the clan or family lineage these spirits belong to before they transformed into the spiritual realm. Abalongo however are the spirits God sends into a clan or family to sort out the challenging issues they are facing. Amyamba on the other side are spirits that protect and help affect the resolutions of the Amasangwa, Imizimu and Abalongo on earth. All these categories of spirits apart from Amizimu can both be either spirits whose existence followed the creation process or actually followed birth. 
Unfortunately, the Ugandan traditional religion was invaded by Christianity as well as Islam and as such, Ugandans resorted to practicing two religions. Privately she he practices the Ugandan traditional religion and publicly Islam or Christianity. Mze jajja jemba gumira mayengo, jajja wenzi kiliza, yobu wangwa, nenono, mukampala, chiaman wa gurudene, kwa sono hirazi. The Baganda have always believed in a supreme god called Donda. They have as well believed in a supporting spiritual realm, and this belief has always fitted strongly in their lives, both at a personal level, as well as matters of the state as a whole. In that belief, the, the spiritual realm drops down to three levels. As Ali mentioned, at the top of the hierarchy is the supreme creator, the lord of creation, the fountain of creation, Tonda. The one from which a drop, a tondo, that created all that is visible and invisible to the human eye, came out of. Contextually more meaningful, when translated into Luganda, tonda, oyo ea kamu kamu e tondo, eriavamu vyo na vyotulabako, ewe vyotaraba. There were three main temples dedicated to the worship of tonda. These temples, in Luganda, Evigua, were located in Namakwa, Buzu, and Bukure, all in Chagwe. And he was so not expected to intervene routinely or even directly into the human affairs. Next in hierarchy was Luvali. And he was so not expected to intervene routinely or even directly into the human affairs. Next in hierarchy was Luvali. The Baganda even go further to name the different subcategories of the spirits that make up the collection we call Luvali. As a subcategory of Luvali, we have spirits we refer to as Amayembe. We have the Abalongo, and these are spirits that God sends onto earth to sort issues of the human race. Abalongo, Balongosa, and Songa. In the third subcategory, we have the Emisambwa or Emisangwa. These are the spirits that existed even before our forefathers. Our forefathers, therefore, refer to them as the spirits that they found existence in Luganda. The AJJ Myoyo, the Misangwa, the exact point where the spirits get their name. However, important to note that these three subcategories of Lubari, that's to say, Emisangwa, Avalongo, and Amayembe, each is represented at the two cardinal categories of Lubali. In other words, Lubali Wombutonzi and Lubali Omza. We so have Amayembe, Agombutonzi, na Agombuzari. Emisangwa Gyombutonzi, ni Gyombuzari. And the Abalongo Wombutonzi, na Abalongo Omuzari. Omuzimu, the singular of Emizimu, roots its name from the fact that the Waganda kept referring to such spirits as Emyoyo, Oba Omoyo, Omuzimu Chika, Okuyamba, Kuve Chika Chomuntu, Yenga Maze, Okuva Kubulambuensi. The spirit that had departed out of a dead human and so had gone back to the clan that that human belonged to to help the other people that are still alive in that clan. At Lusiti in Busavala, Mukasa Yawewa Omulimu Ogoku Kuma Enyanja. Mukasa was responsible for guarding of the water masses. Awamu Nokua Avantu Omukisa 
as well as blessing and granting a good life to the people. Mukasa also capacitates all creatures to be able to breathe the exact origin of his name Mukasa. Literally meaning breathe this air. I want to know if we are going to be able to breathe this air. We saw them also thank him, say, Bweza Bwa Mukasa. Chiwanuka ye, ya wanura, na wanika, iba vire meride, abana baba antu. Chiwanuka, he is responsible for solving the difficult challenges of the population. Sako, okukuma, embara mazenyanja, nobu karu as well as maintaining the boundaries of the land and water masses. Thereby preventing the waters of the water bodies from exceeding past their boundaries. Musoke, however, is tasked with regulating the rain to ensure only enough rain are supplied to Tonda's creatures. I want to go to the Nwabanga at that day in Kubanga Sukiri day, Kuroko Sovia Kwevi Tondevie. So if God releases excess rains, following that his creatures have annoyed him and gone against his principles, Musoke, I want to go to the Nwabanga at that day in Musoke intercedes to God on behalf of his creatures so as the latter may not be destroyed by the heavy rains that God has released. Musoke was as well charged with Offering all creatures of God with offsprings. Yes, on the right in Buganda, Umchara Avera Monsonga, Tugamba, the Arabian Soke. The reason why in Buganda, when a lady is in her menstrual period, we say she has seen Musoke. Musoke, Atam Bulia Mukabonero, Akarangi, Omosang, Era Ketuita, Musoke. Musoke is represented and manifests himself in the rainbow. The other pioneer spirit is Musisi. This is the old spirit. Musisi moves as he shakes the earth to exhibit his might. It is him that God sends to any nation harboring a population that wishes to exalt or equate their human understanding to God's way. Thereby destroying their development and motives. The other pioneer spirit is Chitinda. He who divides the world into countries, say nations. Chitinda afuna erinya wanema oruvanyuma wembwa ya muganda we wamara Okumuruma Narimara Tinda gets his other name Wanema after getting lame following the fact that he was beaten by a dog that belonged to his brother Wamala. Tinda Wanemo Iraya Vunanizwa Kubarema Tinda Wanema is also in charge of helping the lame. Dear Ugandans, 
In these series we are to understand the history and status of the various cultural worshipping sites in Uganda and we are to start with Lesiti in Busabala and various other sites will follow thereafter.